Essential oils can be incredibly beneficial for menopausal symptoms. There are now dozens and dozens of studies showing the benefits. And they clearly show the benefits in the area of hot flashes. That's how they explain it in the scientific terms. In the common language, hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, a reduction of anxiety and depression, an improvement in sleep quality, sexual function, and quality of life, specifically related to menopausal symptoms. How does it work? Well, it stimulates olfactory sensors, and they've now detected chemical sensors, which probably play a role in sending messages to the brain, onto the nervous system, and the endocrine system, which is your hormones, to bring about improvements in all of these signs and symptoms. Lavender shows up with the most studies for essential oils and menopause, primarily because it also shows the best results. And one of the reasons is it's got a little ingredient called linalool, about 50% of lavender is made up of this linalool, and other essential oils that have this ingredient also show up as positive results. But again, not as well as and as good as lavender. Now, there was a meta-analysis where they bring studies together. And this time they brought eight studies together, and they showed that there was a 39% drop in menopausal symptoms, drop in hot flushes, increase in sleep quality, sexual function, decreased anxiety, and as a side benefit, a decrease in blood pressure. Lots of benefits of lavender. And in another one where they brought three other studies together, there was a decrease in physical symptoms to do with menopause specifically, an increase in relaxation, happiness, and a sense and feeling of cleanliness. In individual studies, which show a little bit more of the detail, there was a study where they used it 10 to 20 minutes before or around about bedtime for 29 days as aromatherapy. Now, these are all situations where they've been used in aromatherapy. And for the 29 days, it decreased menopause symptoms, decreased hot flashes, decreased depression symptoms, and all sleep parameters, including onset, efficiency, and a few others, improved as a result of lavender. Now we know lavender shows up in dozens and dozens of studies to do with sleep and relaxation and so on. So we know it also works now specifically with menopausal sleep disturbances as well. And in another study where they used two 20 minutes a day aromatherapy, one during the day and one at night time for 12 weeks, there was a decrease in menopausal symptoms and a decrease in hot flashes. Now this gives you a bit of an idea of how you can use it. But in addition, there are a couple of very interesting studies specifically on lavender where they've actually looked at some of the activities of it. And in this one, they had a decrease or an increase in EEG, which is your brain activity, specifically to do with an increase in alpha wave and a balancing of the alpha beta waves, which I'm led to believe is to do with decreased stress, quality of life, improved quality of life and improved sleep. So they're now looking at some of the mechanism and this was specifically with menopausal women again that study now they uh, also had a decrease in heart rate variability and in a study on menopausal rats and you say how do they get menopausal rats well they actually have operations on the rats and uh, as a result create menopausal symptoms or like symptoms and then measure it and they find in the rats that it decreased the stress hormones and um, a decrease in the stress neurotransmitters. So you can see some of the mechanisms that it's benefiting uh, people who, women who have menopausal symptoms via the brain network, via the nervous system network. The second essential oil to show up is neroli oil. It too is rich in linalool. This is the really active ingredient that where we're getting the benefits from on menopausal symptoms. And in this study, it showed a decrease in menopausal symptoms, a decrease in hot flashes. Uh, it had a, a sedative, hypnotic, and a mild anti-anxiety effect as well. And in another study where they did two drops, and this is in your own aromatherapy diffuser, uh, for four days, consecutive days for four weeks, and they showed an uh, increase in sexual function, an increase in sleep quality, and they also noted an increase in the olfactory sensation. So showing that it's basically going through the smell sensation, then getting to the olfactory sensors, up to the brain, and then altering. Now, they've also done combinations, and probably the best combination that appears to show up in the literature is lavender and bergamot. And in that study, it increased sexual function, decreased anxiety, and decreased depression. Now, in another way of looking at all this, they have done some studies where they have looked at some of the mechanisms behind it. 
And in a study of 15 postmenopausal women, they found that um, salivary oxytocin, which is the kind of little nice feel neurotransmitter hormone in the body, which is linked with decreasing anxiety and stress as well, showed up or increased with lavender, neroli, jasmine, Roman chamomile, clary sage, and Indian sandalwood. So in other words, any cocktail or combination of these or individually would show up and help with that anxiety and a feeling of warmth and um, comfort to do specifically with salivary oxytocin in postmenopausal women. So at the end of this, we've got a pretty good picture. Lavender comes up number one, the rolling oil, and a combination of some of the others will probably work a little bit as well. Uh, check out our other videos on menopause and check out our other videos on essential oils. Subscribe and share the information.